their head coach, Rick Cabrera, 70-59 to win against New Orleans. And, Coach, uh, you said it last week. Um, you kind of watched it happen Thursday night when the New Orleans women came in and, and flipped the tables uh, in the series. You knew New Orleans was coming for blood. They had a little different look in the lineup tonight without Jordan Johnson. But answering back from a tough first half of the first half, to win a game by double digits, some growth from your team. Yeah, I, I you know, I told the team uh, before the game when, when it was obvious Jordan wasn't playing um, that, you know, two things could happen. This team could either come out and say, what are we going to do? Our guy who scores the most points isn't here. Or they can come out and be inspired. And they came out inspired. They played angry. Or they defended angry. And they held us to 10 points through the first, 10, I think, 10, 11 minutes. Um, and then we were able to score, and that was probably as ugly as half that I could think of that we played. Um, you know, and we've had some ugly ones, uh, but we were still leading at halftime. You know, so you know, I went in there and 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 I got on them a little bit, but you know, I said, listen, we you know, we're up one, uh, and we didn't play well at all. But things got to change. Jamel, Slack, Chase, even Braylon. Uh, you know, even J.C. has sometimes, you know, a lot of guys contributed and, and, and played well. Jamel Lane was plus 21 in an 11-point game. That's – we've seen some big plus minuses in blowouts, but for a game that was relatively close to the end, he's plus 21. And, uh, you know, he scored some. He did a little bit of everything. And uh, in a game where you know, they got some bigs, you know, he kind of kept you guys in it and then really on the defensive end was – Big and holding them to eight second-half field goals. No, Jamel is, is arguably one of the hardest-playing dudes on our team. He's competing with Chase and, and Justo as the hardest playing. I mean, that dude has a motor that you can't coach. Um, there's times we got to get him in his teaching, his coaching. you got to get him to slow down sometimes. But he's still young. He's only a sophomore, and it's his first year in Division One. But he's a hard-playing dude. Uh, and the things that he did today were phenomenal, and he helped us win this game big time. He's had some moments late in the games. We talked about it with him. HCU, he gets the two free throws to seal it. Uh, it, it was probably a win, but he gets a block on a three-pointer uh, that, that calls any kind of momentum they have coming down the stretch. Uh, then the steal at the end and another block. Just big moments for him and, and what's kind of been an up and down here. Yeah, you know, and I mean, uh, you know, a part of it is me. You know, I, I, he started for us. Um, I took him out the lineup just because, I like, you know, like I – I wanted him to be a little bit more tougher and rebound more, you know, and, and, you know, and Dwayne brought that. Um, but I had to make some decisions tonight, and he answered the bell. He came up big, and I know what I'm going to get out of him every game. I just need him to, to play tougher. Hey, he's going to play hard, but he got to play tougher, and he did that tonight. You mentioned no Jordan Johnson. It was one of those things that I'm sure at, at some point that certainly – a guy averaging nearly 22 points a game radically alters the scout for a team like this. And uh, do you think that played maybe into a little bit of the, you know, kind of the fugue state that was going on in the first 10 minutes? Yeah, and it, it I mean, it was a psyche in our head as a staff. When, when, when my staff first came and told me, and, and, you know, and you could ask, you know, ask them what my reaction was, I did not celebrate. I was like, oh, you know, and I said something else behind that. Um, you know, just because, like, of my thought of how those guys are going to think. Because I'm not playing. I'm coaching, but I'm not playing. Uh, you know, because we prepared for him, you know, in this one-game turnaround, uh, probably 90% of the practice, and then, uh, and then he didn't. And as you could tell, the first you know, 10 minutes of the game wasn't very good. But the second half, much better defensively. You finally felt, after a couple of really tough defensive games at home, you guys – got back to where you were kind of in that three-game win streak earlier where it was 39, 40, 42% from the floor from your opponent. Uh, and today it was 35. Yeah, the way we defended tonight, we did not defend like that on Saturday. Um, and I told, I told our team, I said, you know, you know until we can get consistent on the, on the defensive end, then we're going to be inconsistent in winning and losing. Uh, so that's your choice. I'm going to make you play defense. Um, you know, offensively, I'll, I, you know, I'll allow you guys to play with a little bit more freedom if you defend. And they did that tonight, and they were able to get transition buckets. Defended in fear after those first 10 minutes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Coach, thanks for your time. Thank you, buddy.